Hello friends, today we're looking at Yamaha's Piaggero NPV60. Check it out. So it starts you off with a beautiful piano sound. Here's the extra bright piano. Tonk, not my forte. And some sweet EPs. Solid organ sounds. Some really nice bass sounds. Synth bass sounds, very nice. Sorry if this riff's getting a bit repetitive. Okay, I know that was a lot of bass, but they really are very good. Now some orchestral sounds. Thank you. 
As with bass, the synths are bright and clear. And there are lots to choose from. two sounds together, here are some examples. And that brings us neatly into the rhythm set. Just choose another one at random. Now let's start with a beat and bring in some accompaniment. First I'll just show you that you can change tempo by tapping it. Or simply changing the tempo value using the jog dial. Okay, now let's use a little drum fill to bring in the accompaniment. So there's a whole virtual band that will follow every chord change you make. And a cool ending there. Let's take a look at what's in the function menu. Many parameters can be changed here. I'll show you some of the salient ones. Pitch bend, for example, starts off with a default value of two semitones. but you can take it right up to a whole octave. So that's a really fun feature. You can adjust the touch sensitivity to your comfort. Effects are pretty basic, but they're good quality. You can adjust reverb here and chorus. And if we travel a bit further into the function menu, you'll see that we can choose different kinds of reverb and different kinds of chorus. And these are worth exploring. They can really take your sound to a higher level. On the back you can see the USB socket for talking to a computer. There's also a sustain pedal socket, absolutely essential. 
And over here there's the headphone socket and power in. That's it. And if you want to go portable, the whole thing can run on six AA batteries. Okay, so we've heard the sounds and had a look at a few features. In summary, I would say that the NPV60 is great for someone seriously learning piano. It's not great for someone who wants to explore full-on song composition, synthesizer sound sequencing, all that kind of thing. Not really. It's a practice tool and a really good practice tool for someone who's starting out. Thanks for watching GearFacts. Please like, comment or subscribe. Hit me up with any questions and I'll see you on the next video.